Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents, our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. Today we will be discussing all things tuberose, that floral note I love to hate, along with jasmine and rose. <laughs> I'm not really a floral girl. Who am I kidding? However, tuberose done the right way is very intoxicating, very beautiful. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. To start this list off in the number 10 spot, we have Narciso Rodriguez for her Lapsalu. This fragrance is so beautiful. It has huge amounts of jasmine, tuberose, and musk to start it off. And you're going to get that throughout the life and the body of this fragrance. You also have amber, sandalwood, and patchouli in here as well. It's a very beautiful, floral, slightly spicy, woody fragrance. It, it just is amazing. I love it for fall and I love it for winter as well. So if you're familiar with the hair line or anything that Narciso Rodriguez does, then you know how his musk works. He's also brilliant with notes like tuberose, jasmine, patchouli, amber, and sandalwood. And you get them all right here. In the number nine spot, we're going to head over to the House of Hermes and we're going to talk about a fragrance that is normally raved about because of its ginger note. However, we can't forget the beautiful citruses in the opening to pair with that ginger, as well as the sandalwood and vanilla in the base. However, the beautiful jasmine, tuberose, and orange blossom trio in this just makes this fragrance well worth all of the acclaim and all of the love it gets, especially here on YouTube. This is Twilly de Hermes, the original. So... I love this fragrance. It's a beautiful note of tuberose that is not overwhelming. It's not doing too much. It is really well balanced with that jasmine and that orange blossom. I actually pick up orange blossom the most in here, which works for me because like I said, I need a tuberose that's either subtle or bubblegum and candy. But in this one, it's really, really pretty. In the number eight spot, we have a fragrance and a house that I've never talked about on my channel. This is Serge Luton's Dator Noir. So this fragrance is very complex. When I say that there's everything going on in this fragrance, you have uh, tuberose, of course, you have osmanthus, an apricot, there's heliotrope. There is musk, myrrh, lemon blossom, tonka bean, coconut, I'm talking about just all kinds of yummy goodness in this fragrance. And when I first sprayed it, I was like, whoa, what are we talking about? Like, what is happening? Because there are so many notes and they all appear in this fragrance, it's just, yo, you just got to get your nose on it. I do not think this is a safe blind buy. I myself am still astonished that I like this fragrance. The House of Serge Luton's is too animalic for me normally. He loves to use that civet note, which I call booty juice because look up what it is. That's what it is. Um, but this one, I really, really enjoy. Again, that is Serge Luton's Datura Noir. In the number seven spot, we're going to head over to the House of Tom Ford. I know, doesn't sound right coming from me, but I do actually own two fragrances from his house. This one is Soleil Blanc. Beautiful creamy fragrance. It's perfect for upscale events and date nights if you want. It's very expensive, so please find it on a great sale. Use some points. Do something. Um, this one, like Datour Noir from Serge Luton's, has a ton of notes in it. Like everything but the kitchen sink. You have bergamot and pistachio. You have your tuberose, your jasmine, your coconut, your ylang-ylang, your benzoin, uh, cardamom and pink pepper, like tonka bean. Did I say amber? I think there's amber in here too. There's just a lot, but it works. My goodness, it works. I absolutely love this fragrance. So again, that is Soleil Blanc from the house of Tom Ford. In the number six spot, we're going to hop over to Carolina Herrera. And this is Good Girl. Probably my most favorite packaging of anything in my collection. The stiletto is just everything. So... This has almond, this has tuberose, jasmine, some back. There's even some cacao, some coffee, and some vanilla in here. Another fragrance with a ton of notes, but it works beautifully 
I love this fragrance. It's a huge compliment getter for me. It will always be in my collection. In the number five spot, we're going to jump over to the house of Givenchy, and we are going to talk about L'Entredi Melissimi. Now, you can have any of the ones from the L'Entredi line. Um, I can't speak about the EDT because I don't like that one. It's too floral. But there's tuberose and all of the rest of them, I do believe. The Intense, the Rouge, if you're looking for spicier, darker, those two. Um, or you can do the other Parfum or this one if you just want a beautiful tuberose to go with that stunning note of orange blossom. I absolutely love these. This is where the tuberose is there and it's present, but it's not doing too much. That's my kind of tuberose. <laughs> in the number four spot, we're going to hop over to Juliana's Perfumes, which is an inspiration house. And we're going to talk about their inspired fragrance um, of Rouge Malachite. I was not going to pay the type of money that they wanted for Rouge Malachite. So instead, I decided to get Bad B. Yes, that's, that's the name of this fragrance. I'm not saying that word on my channel, but that's the name of the fragrance. So this has a double dose of tuberose. This also has, I believe, coumarin, ylang ylang. There's jasmine sambac. There's a beautiful note of orange blossom. There's vetiver. There's pink pepper. It's all in here. So much going on. And it is so loud with the tuberose, but it's also spicy. And I freaking love it. I don't know what about this loud tuberose drives me so crazy in the best way, but it does. So bad B it is. In the number three spot, we're going to head over to the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier. We're going to talk about my type of tuberose. This is so scandal. Mm, 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 mm. The raspberry, the milk, the jasmine sunback, the tuberose, the orange blossom. Need I say anything else? This is a perfect tuberose fragrance. The tuberose is ever present i'm talking about you're not missing the tuberose in here but that raspberry just makes it sweet and just so perfect and it's a little lactonic because of that milk baby sign me up for this for life i love this fragrance. in the number two spots we have two fragrances we have the original and we have the intense because i can't choose between the two and i don't have to we're talking about Giorgio Armani's My Way and My Way Intense. Beautiful, candied tuberose fragrances. Absolutely just amazing. I have reviewed both of these separately. You guys know how I feel about this. I've also, when I reviewed the Intense, brought this one up and compared them. I can't get enough of My Way. It's absolutely stunning. And there's only one other fragrance that could even compare when it comes to tuberose which of course is in my number one. So again, if you want to know more, look up my name um, or just scroll through my videos and you will find out. But My Way and My Way Intense, such beautiful candied tuberose fragrances. In the number one spot, we're going to go to the House of Mancera. <laughs> How many of y'all saw this coming? Come on. I talk about this fragrance all the time. It stays in my top 10 for winter. It is my favorite tuberose fragrance. It's my favorite from the House of Mansara. This is Velvet Vanilla. Mm, 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 mm. Everybody always says I smell like cupcakes or cookies or cake and some type of dessert. Just absolutely amazing. The tuberose and the vanilla in this, they this is a masterpiece fragrance. This is a masterpiece fragrance. There's nothing you can say bad about it to me. There's nothing I have to say bad about it. The projection, the longevity, the scent bubble. You spray too much of this and you liable to hurt yourself and everybody else around you in the best way. But this is very intoxicating. This is very loud. A little goes a long way. Like this, this bottle will probably last me 10, 20 years. I just hope it doesn't turn, you know, bad in that time. But, oh. Velvet Vanilla. This is the epitome of a bubble gummy tuberose. Just perfect. That is it for my top 10 tuberose fragrances. If you're still here, please don't forget to click that like button. I see so many views and so few likes, guys. It just takes one little second to click that like button. Also, 
please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. I love having you guys here. Thank you so much for rocking with me. As always, I want to see you in the comments. So please drop your favorite tuberose fragrance in the comments. And if you're someone who doesn't like the Nota tuberose, drop down the fragrances that you smell that make you think you don't like the Nota tuberose. I'm not saying that you don't. You quite possibly may not because, again, it has to be done a certain way for me to like it. So I get it. Of course, as always, until then, bye.